Hello there, people. I'm here to describe how to do something that's actually pretty easy, and then something niche and not so easy or accessible. Are there any bard songs about dragons? Dragonborn voiceover allows your player character to have their own voice with actual mouth movement, and at the amazing high-level quality of Eleven Labs. Did something happen? Where can I learn more about magic? What would you do if someone stole your sweet roll? First, how to install and use it. This is the general use that most people will get out of this video. Both as a public service for mod users and the mod author, the most common mistake, I think, when installing Dragonborn VoiceOver is having the wrong version of one of the requirements. I run Skyrim SE 1.5.97 and I haven't updated a lot of my core mods for a very long time because a lot of them don't really get updates that aren't for 1.6 point whatever. So I still had console util SSE for 1.5. It's an unsupported version that only works for 1.5 and still runs about everything. To run Dragonborn VoiceOver, you need console util ng, which works for any version for Skyrim Special Edition, aka 1.5, 1.6, whatever. That's it. Look at the requirements for Dragonborn VoiceOver, install, Make sure it's the last mod in your load order modifying dialog menu.swf. In Vortex, I did this by marking it as a late loader. In MO2, you have file by file control, which Vortex has too, but what you have to do is physically put it late in your load order. Download a voice pack, there are many available. Some on Nexus, more on random back alley discords because people's voices are their intellectual property and there's no way most BAs would do this for a mod. CD Projekt Red is very giving with their Witcher assets, or they just haven't complained, I guess. Okay, once it's in your load order, go in game, wait for the MCM to load, then pick your voice pack. No voice pack is chosen as a default. When you talk to an NPC for a mod that's supported, they'll talk with full lip motion and everything. On the whole, this is a very revolutionary mod for something I've been doing by hand for a couple of years now. Because there aren't voice packs for all the voices I use. Well, there weren't. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. What's wrong with my outfit? Nothing at all. It's very... nice. So what should I wear to the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace? Sounds easy enough. I'll do it. And now, as they say, the real fun begins. Creating your own voice pack. I just want to preface this with, if you're using Eleven Labs, which this guide is for, and so are all the tools I'll be using, this will take a butt ton of your monthly characters. Eleven Lads, as you've seen in my videos, has a scary level of emotion and accuracy with voices. It can get pricey, but it's pretty worth it. Here are some numbers of characters you'll need. And so this is a black hole you could spend months worth of your characters on. That being said, if anybody wants to use my affiliate code and give me some more free words, I would really appreciate it. Before I start, the mod author has a Discord, which I suggest you check out if you run into problems with this. Link in the description. A lot of the links in the description are also going to send you directly to the Discord, and you'll get everything from the Discord. I've just collected everything in one place to make it really easy. Preparation. I suggest putting everything in the same base folder so you can find it all. Download the DBVO voice pack maker from this drive link in description. Also, disclaimer, there was another tool by Absolute Phoenix, but it kept breaking due to Eleven Labs' aggressive API updates. So use the tried and true tool already linked. Download Yakitori Audio Converter. Don't worry, it's on Old Room Nexus, but this is completely divorced from Skyrim at the moment. Go to the mod author's Discord and get the topics files. It is possible to make your own, but the work has already been done for you. Download a phonicsdata.cdf file which is how lip files are generated for your character to speak the words. Just throw it in your DBVO voice pack maker folder. Here's how you generate an API in Eleven Labs. But disclaimer, Eleven Labs aggressively updates their interface 
often. So this may be out of date a week or a month from now. Log in to 11 Labs. Click your name in the bottom left corner, hit API keys, create key, then copy the resulting string of letters and numbers, save it somewhere for later. If you ever lose your code, you can't use that API anymore, but you can just generate another one. Just go through this section again. Now, if you need to clone a voice, you can go to Voices, Add New Voice, Instant Cloning. You'll need a good quality recording of the person talking. I try to make them at least three minutes. Your voice will take a little to load. Be sure to test it out and fiddle with the settings if you like to get it where you want. I am a sample voice. It's nothing more. I am a sample voice, nothing more. Okay, phase one, DBVO. I suggest making three folders. I'll put one for the waves 11 labs will create and the lip files the DBVO voice pack maker will make. Output two for Yakitori's output foos files and output three for the final voice pack. Open DBVO voice pack maker tool. Enter your API key from 11 labs, hit apply. Choose a voice type from the drop down menu. Choose a model. I suggest just using 11 labs multilingual V2 or whatever the latest one is if you're watching this in the future. Adjust the voice settings. Just pick whatever you picked when you were playing with the voice earlier. Where there is great love, there are always miracles. Pick your topic file. Keep generate lip ticked. Select your phonicsdata.cdf file. Select your output folder, output one. Take a moment to make sure everything is right. Of course, you can always stop at mid-generation. Also, if you're doing base Skyrim, this will take a long time, like hours. Hit generate. One eternity later. Yakitori Phase 2. Open Yakitori. Settings. Input format. Dot wave. Output format. Dot foos. Output folder. Untick same as input folder. Select the folder icon on the right and pick output 2. Bitrate to default. Mode. Must require lip file. Go to file. Open folder. Pick your output one folder. Hit convert. This won't take nearly as long, even with huge numbers of voice files. There may be a temp folder that was generated and Yakitori will ignore it because it doesn't have lip files. Don't worry about it. All right, phase three. Go back to DBVO, go to the voice pack maker tab. Choose a display name that is representative of the actual voice. Give your voice back a unique ID. And then make your way through the three buttons at the bottom. Select the folder containing the foos files, output two. Select output folder, output three. Hit create voice pack. From here, find your voice pack and add it to a .7z file or a zip, and you're done. If you have DBVO installed and install this as a mod, then it'll show up in the MCM endgame, and your character will speak the words in the voice you generated with actual lip movement. Sounds easy enough. If you make more of them in the future, just add them to the file you already have. As you may have guessed, I've created a female V DBVO. I haven't yet been able to supply the massive number of characters needed. Currently, it's only the base game, but I'll be adding more as time goes on. It's available on my Patreon for free, and my Discord. As with everything, links in the description. Again, use my affiliate code when you sign up to give me more words to expand upon what I have now. Also, I'm going to be generating Rohisa's voice next and releasing it on Nexus, since that's my own personal creation. And that's pretty much all for today. Thanks for spending time with me. Have an excellent day. Happy modding. Thanks for watching.